today with another video and today y'all I have another makeup video I mean first of all y'all I wasn't supposed to be doing makeup I wasn't supposed to be buying no makeup for the next two months and Fenty decided to come out with this product of course I'm pretty sure most of you already heard about it this foundation right here I just had to pick it up y'all this is the Fenty soft net powder foundation it has been a very long periodically time since I have tried a powder foundation so yeah, I was a little too hyped, so I went off of my no buy within two days of not having a no buy situation. But anyway, y'all, I'm not doing it no more. This is the last product that I broke my no buy situation for for the next two months. I'm not buying no makeup, none. But anyway, let's just get into what this product is all about, y'all. So, um, this is what it looks like in at least what the compact is looking like and i have this one in the color 410 and i do have other products from them these two right here and y'all i just love these products i mean seriously love them um both of them one of them is the soft matte which i did wear on my wedding day you know i must have loved it this was both of these are in the 390 and I love this one too. And I have dry skin, so this works perfectly for my skin as well. This one isn't too drying either, so I love both of these products. So I'm hoping y'all that 410 is not too dark or too light for my skin tone because y'all, I am not balling like that. I cannot afford to be going out and buy all of the shades. So hopefully 410 is a good match for my skin tone. This is what it's looking like in the compact so i don't know y'all hopefully it works for me so but anyway y'all let's just get into it i want to do all that talking i do have my face moisturized my brows are done and i am going to be using mac paint pot and laying low to prime my eyelids i'm gonna do a very very quick simple easy look with the moroccan spice i'm gonna show y'all the, the colors real quick and we're gonna get directly into what this foundation is looking like so just continue on watching and we're gonna talk about this foundation so yes uh let's just get into this because i know most people want to see what this powder foundation is looking like so yes um first i'm gonna go ahead and prime this is a face primer from touch and soul i really really like this one y'all i mean does wonders with the skin when it comes to keeping your face put together throughout the day. This right here is the concealer that I'm going to be using. This one is from Juvia's Place. I have this one in the color 13. Just give me your all. So let's fly. And this is my little Fenty sponge. Let's see what it's gonna look like. So I'm hearing obviously that we can use two brushes. Um, this one is more compact and it picks up more product, more for full coverage. And this one is a little less um, packed, compact. So I guess a little bit of a lighter. I don't know, it's still kind of compact. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna just go with this one anyway. And let's just see what it's gonna look like on my skin tone. Fingers crossed at this match because I'm not trying to go buy more foundation. I 
think it's working. I think so. I guess putting the concealer and the setting powder on my face first made me feel like it was too dark, but this is not too dark, y'all. I think I did a good job on picking the shade. Okay, y'all, I think I got lucky with the color. I think it matched. Y'all let me know what y'all think, but yes, I think, I think I'm good. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go and do a little bit of contour. So I have this ColourPop bronzer. So I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing anyway, not contour. And this is what that is looking like, and it's in the color Rodeo. really really good y'all um i did have to go off camera and finish the look because my camera did die a bit so let me just show y'all what i use on my lips so this right here is um from fenty this is a lip gloss i really really like it this one is called uh, ruby milk really really pretty i just love that lip gloss y'all so um let's talk about this foundation I feel like the foundation is really, really nice, y'all. Um, it looks good on me. I think, I feel like I might have went a little bit too light under my eyes today, but that's okay, y'all. I'm not going to wet anyway. But um, other than that, because that's another subject, but other than that, I think I did good picking the shades. As for the details about this one, on the website, I'm gonna go ahead and read it for y'all. Fenty says that this is a soft matte long wearing foundation with buildable to medium to full coverage in 50 shades. It says that um, it's light as air, gives a gives the skin a instant smooth, pore diffuse, shine free finish. The all free formula is made with climate adaptive technology that is resistance to sweat and humidity. So it won't clog the pores. So of course I can't give y'all all those opinions because I only been wearing this foundation only in this video, which is about 30 minutes. So maybe in another video, I'll come back and tell y'all exactly how I'm feeling. But right now, I don't know if it's full coverage. Maybe if I went in a little bit deeper, I could have got some full coverage. I prefer at least a medium foundation in my opinion. You know, so this is good for me. I really like it. I think I did good on the color, y'all. I think I matched myself up good, thank God, because like I told y'all earlier, I ain't got time to be spending all my money on more than one type of foundation, and she ain't cheap either. So $38, y'all. I think that's $38. If I'm wrong, I will put it on the screen, but $38 is not cheap. So, or $36, one of them. Anyway, y'all, yeah, it's not cheap, so I can't continue on buying all that. But anyway, y'all, um, I will come back and give you an update on this one. I am going to go ahead and end this video. I will see y'all in my next one. So, yes. Leave your opinions about the foundation. Let me know if you're going to get it, if you got it, how you feel about it, all those good things because y'all know I like to talk. So, yes, I will see y'all in my next video.